Hello squad. So I owe you a power for CST. We did hypertrophy, we did strength. So power. Power is rate of force production. How much, how fast, where strength is how much. So no speed, no power. So when we think power, we, there has to be speed there. Also, we want to work in triphasic fashion. So in complete muscle spectrum range. In other words, fast on concentric, hold isometric, slow on eccentric. Let me give you a few examples. If you have a golf cart, that's an awesome bonus. All you need is a couple good anchor points. They could be low, high, or mid-length. And we're gonna do pretty much um, everything with bands and we're gonna incorporate Bob too. So kind of a continuation on fight a little bit too with this uh, segment. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple examples of a couple different power exercises. One is a simple thruster type movement. And use, you know, if you've got the bands, use the appropriate band to meet your needs. But this one here, I might come straight down. So once again, triphasic. So we wanna be fast in the concentric, hold isometric, slow eccentric. So we wanna own it the entire way. We wanna own that. Both sides. And I might do these for about like 10 reps per side or a full minute. Uh, and when we develop our, um, our scheduling for power day, we want to work for about 30 full minutes, taking minimal breaks, right, to adhere to the CST formula of work in anaerobic chunks in circuit to near metabolic threshold to meet an aerobic goal. All right, so there's one example. Another one is a, a punch. Now watch the hips on this one too. We want to make sure we're getting full rotation because power is generated from the hips. So, see the hip motion? And triphasic. So, Another example there. It's a good push motion. We want to get the hips into it, whether we're pushing or whether we are pulling. So an example of a pull. Example. All right. Another one for abs and for all of our core. We're going to do a... Uh, a complete type of a pull or a chop. So we could do a cross chop, where we're like this right here, and we're gonna do a in triphasic action. Putting our hips into it too. And then a chop as well. Now let's talk practical application and incorporate Bob into this as well. So we've done a little bit of fight centric stuff before. We're gonna continue with that right now. So power movements in fight, power is generated from the hips. So whether you're doing a cross, a jab, or a hook, power is generated from the hips. I'm gonna adjust you a little bit so you can see all this stuff. Boom. All right, so power for hooks, power is generated from the hips. Uh, opposing hand up to protect your jawline. And we could also do front kicks. Now front kicks are a really good tool if you practice them and use them right. Because you can go high with them and nobody's expecting it. Or you could achieve separation by getting somebody right in the midsection. So, front kick. So 
So anyway, a couple, uh, or an example, a few examples of power day. Put them all together, rotate through, work within your capability level, crank on some metal, and get your power day on. Rock and roll.